Well, we can give you the team news again now. Uh, Liverpool include only three Englishmen, Carragher, Gerrard and Crouch, all in the World Cup squad. But there's nothing new about that, because Alan Hansen will remember when they won the double in 1986, Liverpool beat Everton at Wembley without a single Englishman in their side. Spaniard Javi Alonso is fit to start. Of course, you all know Mark Lawrenson was there too, but uh, I think he was called Irish then. When... <laughs> anyway, uh, and the defence there is aiming to uh, keep their 34th clean sheet of the season, which would equal a club record. And uh, carrying on the nationality theme, nine of the West Ham starting 11 are British born. The exception to Lionel Scaloni, the Argentine, who keeps his place at right back. And number 15, Yossi Benayoun, the first Israeli to play in an FA Cup final. Matthew Etherington and Dean Ashton both passed fit. So uh, I think that's the team, you know, that ideally, apart from Hayden Mullins, of course, who's suspended, which is why Fletcher's playing, that's pretty close to Pardew's best team. And the interesting thing here, Marcus, I'm sure you... Alonso, a bit short, that. It's Benny Yoon who intercepts. Rio Coke has made a forward run. This is Ashton. Scaloni's up on the right-hand side. Oh, and Haywood's in a great position in the middle, and it's going to be an own goal! It's an own goal! West Ham have taken the lead! It's Jamie Carragher! An own goal in the cup final. Puts Liverpool behind. Well, it started in midfield for Liverpool, John, when a under hit pass by Alonso went straight to West Ham. Great delay in the pass there from Ashton into Scaloni. And I don't really know what Jamie Carragher was trying to do. I think he thought about playing it with his right foot. And in the end, when the cross comes in from Scaloni, he think it might come off his left foot. Yeah, it does. Well, he gave Rayner no chance. People like Gary Mabbott and Des Walker will know how he feels. He's not the first man to put through his own goal in an FA Cup final. But certainly he's opened this one up. There's Ashton. Oh, this is Etherington. Takes on Hoopier. Etherington shot. Oh, fumbled by Rayner. Dean Ashton. And have West Ham gone to him? Yes, they have. It's the second goal, and it's the two players who only just made the team after injury, Etheringen and Ashton. And Liverpool are rocked. Played in again from that uh, right-hand side, Ashton heads it on, it comes to uh, Matty Etherington, he takes on Sammy Hippier. It, what on earth happened there to Rayner? Well, he just fumbled it, John, I mean, as you rightly say, Edmonton does really well, you know where he's going to go as a defender, he wriggles his way around, hits the shot, but for a top-class goalkeeper by Rayner, that's a big mistake. Dean Ashton, doubtful all week. You put your finger on it as well, Ashton and originally flicked the ball on, and he kept going, he gambled like good strikers do. Well, another amazing FA Cup story. As Liverpool get possession again with Finnan. Gerrard. Oh, and Cissé was coming in there. Oh, and he's got it! Gabriel Cissé gets a goal back for Liverpool, and what a cup final we've got here now! Well, what about this pass, John? Absolutely brilliant pass over Scaloni. Fantastic technique, much criticised throughout the season, Cissé for the, the wastefulness of his chances and the number of chances he has to score. But this is a brilliant goal from him. I tell you what, Mark, if Cissé's onside there, then Crouch was onside earlier. Absolutely. That was another oh, borderline oh, decision. Oh, Look oh, at Anton oh, Ferdinand, oh, he thinks oh, he's off. Oh, yeah. has played it short to Gerard. He can't make room for the shot, this is Alonso. Two players far post, here comes Gerard! It's 2-2! Two, two. Steven Gerrard for Liverpool! What a match we have here. They've come from 2-0 down, and this is a spectacular finish. They, had, they overloaded the far post, Liverpool, and when it came to Gerrard, what a strike, Mark Lawrenson. That was excellent, wasn't it? First off, John, Liverpool messed a free, kick up a little, a free kick up a little bit, and when the ball was played in, it was crouched with a downward header. I think it was actually meant for Hoopier, and then it came to Gerrard, and it's a fantastic finish, but it becomes a cheap foul given away by Nigel Real Coker, doesn't it? 
Now, Koncheski picking that up from Everington. Ashton's in the centre. So to his head. Oh, it's gone right in! Koncheski, would you believe it? The left back has scored an impossible goal in the cup final. And West Ham are back in front. Extraordinary. 25 years old on Monday. Paul Koncheski. Well, let no one persuade you otherwise, John. This is a cross. Absolutely no danger about that. That's a far post cross. And he's, in the end, Rayner is struggling. He knew straight away from Rayner's movement. He thought for a split second this might go in. And he couldn't get himself anywhere near it. A real hammer as a supporter, Paul Koncheski. It's only his second goal for them, but it comes in the FA Cup final. It fools Rayner completely, the ball. Well, he couldn't have placed it any better, but he definitely didn't mean it. But time, the clock goes on to 90, and we just wait to see what Phil Dow... Oh, it's been given back. It wasn't a very good clearance by Scaloni. Phil Dow, the fourth official, has got the board. Reese's cross. Oh, it's four minutes. Gerrard! He's got it! Oh, Steven Gerrard! Just when he looked injured and out of it, as equalised for Liverpool. With 90 minutes gone, it's 3-3 in surely the best cup final of modern times. Do you know what, when the ball came to him, I think he thought, I'm just going to hit this, because, you know, I can't run with it, I can't, I can't really get in the full range of passing. The ball gets played in, and Reese is crossed, down it comes, and he just said, I'm just going to hit it regardless. What a goal this is. Shaka Hislop got down to his right, but he couldn't get near it. The 90 minutes was up when this happened. They were just announcing four minutes of stoppage time, and that flies in the corner. Steven Gerrard's second of the game. It's like Istanbul all over again for Liverpool. They've got back to 3-3. Well, those with very long memories of the older generation will start to compare this to the famous Matthews Cup final of 1953. Scores comfortably. Alan Wilde is writing the score down on a red card, would you believe? If he doesn't score from this, Liverpool have won the Cup. They have won the Cup! Liverpool have won the FA Cup for the seventh time. They won the first final here in Cardiff in 2001, and they've won what may be the last final in Cardiff in 2006 on a penalty shootout, and West Ham absolutely crumbled on penalties, but Rayner was the real star performer there, and Liverpool extend their amazing record in penalty shootouts. Well, Steve, first and foremost, Many congratulations. You wanted time to celebrate with the fans. You're a local boy. This must mean something very special to you. Yeah, it does. Very special. Uh, their supporters are fantastic. West Ham were brilliant today. They gave us a real good game. And, you know, we had that never say die attitude and we stuck in there. And I think our best chance was penalties because, you know, we had no energy left. But it's a great feeling to win a great feeling. The hero, Rainer, absolutely superb hero and villain today. But I suppose. At the end of the day, he was a special, special player. We always knew if it went to penalties, we had a really good chance. We feel as if we've got the better keeper on the day at uh, penalties. He's got a great record. He's a great lad. He made a fantastic save last minute, so he deserves to be the hero. Liverpool are enjoying themselves today, quite rightly, but England fans are worried. How's the state of your fitness? I'm OK. I've just got a load of cramp. I've played a lot of games, but I've got a couple of weeks rest now, and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be ready. Just bear with me. Just talk us through the, the two goals. The first one, the knockdown, it didn't look in any doubt. To be honest with you, I just wanted to get good contact on the ball and hit the target. I knew as soon as, you know, if he hit the target, I knew I'd make the keeper work, and the second one was just a dream goal. I don't think I've seen a goal struck like that, Steve. It was a dream goal. It's a, it's a dream day for me to score two and to score a pen and lift the FA Cup and celebrate with all these magnificent fans. And I'm, I'm delighted. Enjoy lifting the cup. Well done. Here he comes as the captain to receive the FA Cup in their 62nd game of the season. Stephen Gerrard has...